Morning, Internet. The circus came to town this week in the form of the EU court hearing regarding Xbox's desired purchase of Activision Blizzard King. Microsoft President Brad Smith taking centre stage armed with pie charts and graphs demonstrating just how mismanaged Xbox has been over the years. We go to our man on the ground, Bulldog. There's been mayhem on the streets as this war continues. Now of course you were there during the court hearing. Indeed I was. It was wonderful craftsmanship, those pie charts. The sea of blue, the smallest slices of green. It was rightly to be proud of. Yes, we did notice the absence of any red acknowledging Nintendo. They played a blinder. With the FTC saying Nintendo shouldn't be considered They went with their script and handed home Just how much of a monopoly PlayStation has Of course this was the EU courts and not the FTC Indeed it was And Nintendo was also brought up later It was a mega ton of an announcement Microsoft giving Call of Duty A game they don't even own to Nintendo for 10 years, their generosity so transparent. But then a tweet led to confusion, having many believe that Game Pass was also coming to Nintendo. They loved their transparency, but no, this deal was for Call of Duty only. Of course, staying with transparency, Microsoft reportedly held back a chart demonstrating just how little in terms of exclusivity Xbox had had compared to PlayStation. Is the feeling that showing this would have brought attention to their own negligence of the hardware over the years and risk undermining their reasons why Xbox is being dominated in the market. Withholding that was certain. Of course the day didn't end there, and as Xbox fans celebrated Nintendo getting Xbox games, whilst they were offered nothing from Nintendo in return, an Activision employee broke the internet by tweeting a meme. Here I spoke to Lulu Cheng Mesave to find out her thoughts on all the fuss. Now, I've seen a lot of criticism over your professionalism in tweeting this meme. Shut it, you slag. You clearly don't agree with your critics. Oh, it offended you, did it? The joke on this, you can't. Lulu, please, this is not the way to conduct an interview. Are you not worried that such a backlash may potentially be harmful? for such an expensive deal. I'm an independent woman. This is how we do business now, you fuck. Indeed. Oh, you want more, do you? Have it. Of course, there were plenty that didn't take the humor to heart. And rather than being offended, they dragged up a six-year-old tweet from a former giant bomb child star, Patrick Kleptic, and a nine-year-old video from Sony to demonstrate media bias. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. Xbox had further good news this week in the form of Sweden joining Japan in the console price hike. PSVR 2 coming out to mainly positive reviews, quickly followed by complaints of the headset not working properly. Oh good, the left controller isn't working. Well, and I can't, so Give I can't that. move. I'll get to you. I can't because my left controller isn't working. It says there's left. Oh, fuck this. Well, you know what? I'm gonna post this little thing. I was so excited for this son of a bitch, and I get it here. Right controller doesn't fucking work in Resident Evil 8. Left controller doesn't fucking work in this game. The $600 piece of shit. And after both Nintendo and Microsoft recently shadow dropped games, Sony had a state of play that shadow dropped nothing but disappointment. We now go over to Raccoon for Twitter Corner. This week on Twitter Recorder, 
we're going to go through some reactions on this tweet. Best tweet of the year. Well, that sounds like a positive start. I'm sure that's a good sign of things to come. You should be fired. You're a disgrace. No class, no shame. You're so pathetic. I guess you really didn't like the tweet. I love it. Oh look, the Xbox fan likes it. After this still goes through, I hope Microsoft keeps Cold Dove Sony for good. They literally deserve this outcome. Well, to be fair, they're a competing business, so what are they supposed to do? They've gone from getting 3 years, to 10 years, to getting Nintendo 10 years, to getting GeForce Now all Xbox games. It's almost like they deserve a thank you. Bro, no one need COD. Who plays 10 years COD? Franchise dead after 3 years. Well, COD has been hugely popular for nearly 20 years. Because Sony earned their market position through decades of actual effort, and now direct competition who failed to accomplish anything in 20 years is making the argument that they should be on top because their parent company has money. It's bad president for the industry. Well, Sony's been taking games from competitors since they began. I just like how they're only crying about COD. I mean, Activision Blizzard owns a lot of IP. Well, hopefully they'll bring back Guitar Hero. Signed deal equals COD for 10 years. Acquisition fails equals COD for more than 10 years. Well, this assumes that Activision is still making COD after 10 years. After all, they do actually want to be sold. Just embarrassing. The bar of professionalism must be very low or non-existent over there at Activision Blizzard. Well, after all the sexual harassment allegations, I'm not sure how high you thought the bar was going to be. But I'm glad I mean cleared it up for you. Not really long term, 10 years. They need to offer at least 50 years. How old are you? 10 years old? Who gives a crap? Never played card and never planned to. Sorry, I forgot we are living in Scott world. The same lady who threatened Activision workers that forming a union would be a waste of time, and that until the purchase was formalised, the salary increase that corresponded to them could be frozen. Well, no wonder the unions are on board. I want MS to get cards so it can end up just like Halo Infinite shit. Ha 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 ha. PlayStation is afraid of having competition. Keep this up. This type of energy we need from Xbox executives. And thank you for being real. I hope you stay and become a major part after the acquisition is completed. Love you. Yes, it would be nice if Xbox had a bit more spite. You realise you are making fun of one of your biggest customers and partners. How do you still have a job at Activision? Because she's also bustering up her next biggest customer and partner. Tweeting like you're not part of the problem. Clown. And special mention goes to this angry little cherub. Who really didn't like the tweet. Someone was promised a position once MS buys ABK. I guess you don't like the position Bobby Kotek has you in. Oh, that's very saucy. You do realise she needs to STF you and stay in her lane. She's been paid with money PS gamers put into the company she works at. She is against unions and she didn't do anything for people who were sexually harassed. But she wants to open a trap for a position she's promised with Xbox. You really took this tweet seriously. As crazy as the world is, you post some shit like this, how many crazy people know where you work? You should really think before you post crazy out of your back end tweets. And no, not me. But you see some stuff on the news every day. And it's not a game. Yeah, you're getting a little bit sinister now. So I think we'll end it here. This has been Twitter Corner. Depending on when you are, where you are, and who you are, good morning, good evening, and good night. We haven't yet reached an agreement with Sony, I hope we will. I walk around with an envelope that contains the definitive agreement that we sent to Sony two days before Christmas. I'm ready to sign it at any time. And if Sony doesn't like the words, we're ready to sit down and pull out a pen or a version of Microsoft Word and it's cut and paste features. We know that advances in everything in life require dialogue. We're committed to that. We're committed to that with the European Commission. We're committed to that with other regulators around the world. We're committed to that with other companies in our industry. We're committed to that with Sony itself. And I hope and believe that this is a day, like many other days that I've spent in Brussels, that will advance our industry and regulation in a responsible way.